Hey, this is Emily with Bonner.com. I am here with Mike, who is the head writer for Conan. I am. We're after Conan's second day. How'd it yeah. go today? Yeah, uh, great. The air conditioning broke in the beginning. Were you here for that? Very exciting. No. But it turned out that it was a good ploy. We should do that on every show. Just shut heat off the up, AC. Heat it up to 100 degrees, <laughs> and then, oh, the AC's on. Woo, now we like the show. Oh, so they we didn't like it, it until late. then. Well, it was like 30 seconds in. No, they like it even more. Of course, they love the show. No, they love it. And you wrote the entire show, right? Well, it was pretty much my vision. Uh, and I guess Conan executed it. Uh, yeah, the forklift. That's good. That's a good move. We wanted to get on it. Show how and grimy it is here. Um, so what's been what's been your highlight of Bonnaroo? Uh... Are you actually hanging out, or you guys are in the... No, house? no, no, I, we, went, we go back to a hotel in uh, Nashville, but just, ju I didn't bathe, and I kind of rolled it, there was some mud in front of the Lowe's Hotel, the great hotel, the Lowe's Hotel. No swimming pool, what's up with that? I guess you don't need a swimming pool in the fucking south! Am I allowed to swear? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I, I haven't bathed, uh, and... Uh, and I, oh, it's yeah. a laundry day. This is all I have is my <laughs> monochromatic. What, what are you zooming in on? <laughs> I mean, it work, work. <laughs> no, but this show is, Conan, I have, I have to say, it was his kind of vision, and he's written most of the stuff, but I've just been kind of the wardrobe guy. Just, I just show up and look good. In the same clothes you wore yesterday? Yes. <laughs> Only the shorts. And how many more days of this tour do you guys have? We have one more show. This is our oh. penultimate show. And I didn't know that worked. Thank you. Let's tell everyone on the blog how uh, Mike and I met yesterday. Which uh, is that I was standing in the comedy tent. Uh, right, yes. Oh, that. And someone came up to me and asked about my tattoos. Right. Shall we see the tattoo? This one. And obviously, it's by Marcel Duchamp. Hello. <laughs> Maybe 1911. And no, she's like, oh. Like, gotta be later. No? Maybe later? Right. Maybe a little right. later. Uh, and then, you know, the George Klimt. No, George! What's his first name? Gustav. Gustav. Gustav, his nickname. Gustav is German for George. <laughs> okay. uh, so, you know, my great grandfather knew him personally. So that I was raised on thing? George. It's not a real thing. Well, yeah, let's say for the blog it is. Okay. So now, as a, write, a comedy yeah. writer, do you actually perform comedy yourself? Have uh, you ever? Yeah, I was a stand-up comic for nine years. And then uh, I, I, I wanted health benefits, so I got a writing job on TV. So, on the fly, what's your best bond? I don't know what show? to do with this camera work. Like, I know, I it's like to... very artsy right now. There's like a lot of artistic... So I wanted to get health benefits. Let's all to let everyone know that the head publicist of Bonnaroo is holding the camera yeah. right now. Yeah, ah, turn it on yourself. Um, no, I want to hear your best Bonnaroo yeah. joke. Um, oh yeah, actual joke we did. It doesn't, no, just whatever joke you like about Bonnaroo. Uh, tonight, well, we opened the show, Conan said, uh, in six months I went from hosting The Tonight Show to performing at a refugee camp. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting and filthy. <laughs> And the crowd really seemed to relate to that. And then they said, where's our UN food? But you're not literally refugees. We actually, when we were driving in on Thursday, we thought this is like a refugee camp. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so we just tweaked what you so, thought. So it's kind of like I wrote Or forklifts. <laughs> Look at that. That's a little cool. Show that. That is... Yeah. That, someone's feather bedding here at Bonnaroo. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need the forklift. <laughs> For like, it's something you cool a pie in. That's great. <laughs> so, is there anyone you want to give a shout out to? Uh, now that your tour's do almost done. Yeah, yeah, George Klimt's great, great grandson. Good to see you again, bro! Klimt! <laughs> now, uh, JB Smoove, I love him. He's here. You know who he is? Uh, I do. I saw him he's in great. catering yesterday. Yeah, that, that's where he's the funniest. In catering? Yes. He deals with some really good food jokes. Yeah. And Conan's going to intro some acts tonight. Oh, can you say who? Um, yeah, they're all on your schedule. They are? Yes. <laughs> no, they're not. I thought so. What do you mean? But is he, on the, is on the he introing stage? dead weather? Yeah, maybe. Oh, let's be mysterious. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, he's introing dead weather. <laughs> Bring out your sarcasm a little more, Sorry, please. Man, that's all I and got. And then strangle yourself with that. My sarcasm is in lieu of real humor. I'm sorry. That we, so now we have the exclusive. No real humor. Just only sarcasm. sarcasm. Yes. On Conan. 
slow down. That's just me. Oh, sorry. Just Mike, but it translates, I would assume, into Conan's the, what you fun. write for Conan. So he takes uh, the humor, and they, then it sort of, you know... He takes one out of every ten things we write. One out of every ten. You know why? Because he can. And when you write something, and you just love it, and then he's like, this is oh, man, not funny. Oh, man, look. This is the first word I get to really text. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, Mother of God. Oh! Yeah, now cue the, the golf cart. It's, it's, it's like a ballet out here. A ballet of nothing happening. This guy's going to kick my ass. Please don't let him watch this vlog. I just realized uh, I'm leaving the country. Although, I think I could take this guy. Look at him. Look, let's see. I can take him. I can Right? I, don't you think? Okay, so I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Plus, he's smoking. Look at that, he's smoking. Not Hi. Yet. What? I'm not smoking yet. Okay. Uh, wait. I will be in about two seconds. I thought you couldn't hear me over the engine. Oh, hell <laughs> no. Great job. I, I lost control of this interview. <laughs> Great job. Yeah, you're, you're awesome. <laughs> oh, it's good to hire Miss Gigglepuss to do an interview. <laughs> You're right. just bitter because you couldn't remember the name of the artist. Oh. You don't have to take that out of me. Sorry. You know? Go ahead, ask me an art history question. An art history question. Yeah. Well, I why don't you talk about who maybe your favorite artist of all time is. Well, that's a little pretentious. <laughs> well, you already used penultimate. Like Gustav instead of George. <laughs> you did use the word penultimate I on did. camera I did. for a blog. Uh, yeah, so... but we're going to... Aren't you going to edit that out? No, I'm going to run this This all goes thing. on? <laughs> no, on, on the art... On the, when you do stuff on Conan, it gets chopped down. You don't just lay out the whole footage. I don't understand how the internet works. Well, we don't, we don't actually have commercials on the internet. Oh. So that's why we don't always There's that. Ray. She's one of the coquettes. Look at her. Oh, my God. Look at the floppy hat. Oh, that's Jeff Ross. What? Yeah. I think we should probably... Wait, can you even hear any of this? All right, let's fly, let's hope. I think it's not filming. It is. I can see the I red light up. on. I screwed up. I screwed up. I just realized we're not even mic'd. This, this is a joke. It's, it's not. A, well. It's not on. Then I guess I'm the funniest of the two of us. You win. <laughs> and you have the best tats. I have. Yeah, all right. Where are your tats? I have acne scars. I have a Sharpie. Do you want me to draw a tat on you? Costs more money than your tats. Do you want me to draw uh, one on you? Uh, sure. Could... Why not? <laughs> this will be compelling television. You Just hang in there for 30 minutes. Compelling internet. Yes, that's what I meant. Because we're not on TV. No, of course not. All right, where do you want your tat? Television is a dying medium. Um, how about my white fleshy inner arm? All right, what do you want? Like, maybe, maybe you could have a... Something by James Ensor. I don't know, let's, let's, just, let's go with something easier. Okay. How about... Uh, Gerard Richter. How about a Rothko? A Ro Rothko. All in black, that's not doable. Maybe a Franz Klein. Franz Klein there, get it. Oh, oh you're sorry. so sweaty that it's just not really... Yeah. well, that's how... You know, and Rothko's are going for about 30 million now, so you yes. could probably so sell this if we cut your skin off. That's great. Let's chop your whole arm. That, that kind of doesn't really look like a Rothko. Hey, like no, I guarantee you, everyone's going to know. Like the second guy. they see this, they'll be like, oh my god, that's like a Rothko on your arm. <laughs> it's actually an infinity or pass. Yeah. a menu. That's going to get you backstage. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get. Hello. So much access. Let no, uh, take I a photo of this, show this to Jay-Z. This and is I'll actually right the Jay-Z pass. It is. I didn't want to tell you until uh, after I did it. I like it. it. It's very nice. But that'll get you on stage for Jay-Z and a microphone Thank in you. hand. You've got to edit this. Please don't put this raw footage on the internet. It could be the end of the internet as we know it. Do I have a cord around my neck? <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Ah, my glasses. I think we I'm should nervous. probably wrap this up. Yeah, let's wrap it. I gotta so, fight this guy. And... Yeah, we've got a lot of things yeah. going on right now, yeah, clearly. Yeah. The sun is making everyone delirious. Whatever you need to tell yourself. Yeah. Well, I feel very coherent. I just, Who's I'm this not... guy? Who is this guy? I'm just I'm reporting the story. You're not this story. story. I was reporting the Conan story. Oh, okay. Four. The Rolling Stone. There we go. Oh, really? Oh, cool. I love Rolling Stone. So, 
You like, change your format, right? It used to be flipped up. Oh. Yeah. Let's let's focus on this one. Oh, Ready? I'm sorry. Here we go. Yeah, right there. Um, let's give a final thought since you're being uh, called oh, away. Oh, I'm coming. I gotta go. Okay, so give a final bye. Uh, I, this is a great time, and um, I hope to come back here in around 20 years, just in the perimeter area, and drive by and say, "Oh, I was at Potter." So thank you so much. Thank it's you fantastic. So much. It was a pleasure meeting it you. It was very nice meeting you. And I, I look forward to your new art tattoos. Rock thank home. you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>